Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Grace. I'm intuitive reader, healer, and channel for the divine. So today, as you can see here, I am using my hands to actually record this reading because my tripod stand has broken. So it doesn't stop me from recording this weekly video. So please pardon me and um, let us dive right into it, okay? Oh, sorry. Before I move on, <laughs> I am using the Keepers of the Light deck as well as the Healing with the Angels deck to show us um, more messages like, you know, start of the week, midweek, and end of the week. What can we expect from the Healing with the Angels deck? Okay, so let's dive right into it. Okay, the essence of... The week of April 3rd to April 9th, 2023 is Cloak of Wisdom. You already know what you seek, trust what you know. So you guys, this message is telling us that we already know what we want, we are focused on it, we are aligned with it, and um, you know the next steps to take. So basically, this is the message that's coming from the Cloak of Wisdom. And let's see the influence is awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. I feel like with this card is lots of awakening within you. <laughs> so there is the energy of rebirth and it feels very reluctant, very struggling. Um and a lot of people are actually going through ascension symptoms right now. Um, I heard that the earth is moving its tectonic plates. So most of us are feeling unground ungrounded. And perhaps that is why um, it is also the, the most opportune time to awaken and um, connect with our spiritual senses and so the awakening with the awakening it is very like um, how do I describe it it's what I'm seeing and feeling is very dark so it may feel like a challenge to you at this time so um, surround yourself with a bubble of light whatever color it is that or texture it is perfect for you at this time so just surround yourself with light and infuse your auric field with light and um, if you like do check out my chakra and bioenergy field healing which is going to cleanse and clear balance activate restructure your chakras if needed and to align your chakras accordingly so that you know you are able to go through the awakening process with ease and flow and not much of a challenge but still because we are in the 3d world you guys we still have to go through some challenges and experience the full human spectrum okay so the basis of the situation is wow okay you already know what is going on you're awakening and it is not easy, but do know that, you know, Green Tara is with you with supreme protection. You are protected, cords are being cut, moved beyond limitation, trust. And, you know, I am getting the sense like they are pulling me back to the origin of Green Tara. Um, if I remember correctly, she is from the tier of Goddess of Mercy, which is Guan Yin. And, um... Basically, she has a lot of compassion and <sighs> yes, um, yeah, I've been getting the sense of Heart Sutra. So um, for some of you who are into sutras, you can take a look at Heart Sutra. But do take note if you were to do sutras of any sort, um, um, go and find out how you can really make use of sutras because um, previously when I was doing research about sutras it um, there was some research that came out that you know you have to maintain at a certain energy level you have to maintain um, your eyes at 30% open you have to chant the sutra um, with 
like um the lips that are slightly open so um because it has some relations with our blood and organs um so do take note of this before you recite any sutras yes that's the word rec recitation so before you do any reciting of any sutras do take note of this but um in any case for this reading um for the most part uh general public um you already know what is sick if you feel called um towards protection do call upon archangel michael or your spirit team for any sort of protection um, that you feel safe so most importantly is you feel safe at this time and what is really um, moving you towards this is because you have been asking for <laughs> spiritual growth and personal growth of some sort or perhaps you want to develop your intuition even deeper and so you have <laughs> your answers uh, your prayers are being answered you guys so basically um, to dive in deeper towards your intuition um, at this time because it's very ungrounded um, do more of the grounding exercises as well as you know a cloak of protection in which um, El Moria has reminded us to wear a cloak of protection and love okay you guys so the present and the goals what is happening at this time is for you to yeah essentially you know, ascension symptoms, spiritual growth, rebirth is for you to rediscover a lost part of yourself and experience harmony as a whole and healing. So Radha is here with us to say, you know, this is a great time for you to take back your power. If you know about soul fragments, you can also do that um, soul fragment healing to bring back the various parts of yourself back to your energy field so that you feel more whole and um, when you are at that space of wholeness and acceptance that is where your intuition will deepen even further and and that is when um, you will feel more heightened senses if that is what you are here to achieve okay so in the near future ooh, Guan Yin is so interesting that green Tara is here and Guan Yin is here with care and compassion um, choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved offer a helping hand I do feel like you know with ascension symptoms there's going to be some confusing times ahead so um, at this time go towards your values if your intuition is not deepened enough and you are not able to you know hear or feel what your gut is telling you um again take note of your values align yourself with the values that will most serve you at your highest potential and choose to be loved do what is right for everyone involved again for the highest and greatest good for everyone okay you guys and okay our approach at this time is karma releasing wow so what we are in control at this time and what you can do at this time is to allow everything to unfold feel the emotions okay and observe them and then move beyond drama <laughs> create your own path make room for good energy and with saint germain there is also you know the association of violet flame so what you can do at this time is to call upon saint germain and you know use the violet flame of transmutation or go and do some violet flame cleansing meditation to help you get through this period because again as with rebirth and um, endings there are a lot of karma involved it's just trying to help you to be aware that you know this karmic cycle is ending and you are just allowing everyone else to play their role and not to go into further drama and just release it and because you are watching this video you guys you know you are aware you are make aware of this situation and i trust that you will do the karma releasing with violet flame 
but again i'm also seeing what's behind him which is the sacred geometry as well as the cube of metatron's cube of protection is coming up um in my vision right now so do call forth the um metatron's cube of protection for protection and then you know once you are protected in that cube already you call forth saint germain to assist you with the violet flame transmutation okay you guys um what is really occurring that you have no control over right now again with lord shiva there's a lot of things shaken up a lot of people will feel that and it's not just only you so if you're watching this video again do see the higher perspective as much as possible and allow things to unfold um, accordingly okay if you feel angry you feel sad just go ahead and feel angry and feel sad you are here to experience a full human experience okay this is a reminder for you again and then you rise up you get to rise up okay steps are being given dance with the universe you already know what you know and you have already um you have already asked for it you prayed for it so this is what um is happening right now allow it to just unfold and with shekinah sacred self unleash your spirit express your gift dance to the sacred rhythm of life so for some of you or for those of you who are watching this gifts are coming through and it's just a beautiful dance you guys so allow the gifts to come through you sometimes you know it may not be so obvious because your guides want you to <laughs> go through some things and you will know eventually um what your gifts are so um yeah um i mean a little background about me i thought that you know i would be a great um coach but um circumstances led me to become a healer instead so now i am an intuitive healer okay so you guys pay attention to what gifts are coming up for you at this time and again as with any karma releasing there'll be lots of forgiveness at this time because a lot of people are just going through fulfilling their purpose you guys so do not take things too personally but at the same time you want the cycles to end so that there is a rebirth coming through right so what you can do at this time is to forgive do forgiveness work okay if you know the hawaiian prayer of ho'oponopono do feel free to do it if you are um into mantras you can uh do forgiveness and um you know forgiveness don't have to be physical you don't have to directly go and tell that person hey i forgive you um it can be energetic okay and and so again a reminder for everything to play out by itself because ultimately it is karma unfolding for everyone and you guys are all characters just playing out your roles and you know don't take things too seriously allow forgiveness whenever possible and um, always choose the path of light love and forgiveness and um, I do feel that it's nothing about like father healing specifically but more of uh, forgiveness in general because you guys are going through a lot you guys are feeling overwhelmed and then you know those people around you are not helping so um it creates a lot of chaos um and you know you guys your bioenergy field is eight feet um around your physical body so literally if you know your living space is small and those people are just around you all the time you will literally feel everything so again um if you can if possible isolate yourself um this week and do some forgiveness work okay okay the outcome you guys oh, first cut share gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you yay you'll be integrating your gifts in this week and it will become obvious to you thankfully <laughs> um and so it's time for you to share your gifts with grace because you have gone through everything already you know how to handle it 
and so um, it is time for you to overflow and radiate it out to your community who is going to benefit it from you okay so take inspired action whenever possible and i love when this card comes up mary magdalene with teacher awakens you have something important to share follow the inner call don't let anything stop you so this is a beautiful beautiful card and reminder for you to reconnect to your teacher self i know um, most of you who are watching this you are either light leaders or spiritual teachers spiritual healers of um very high establishment already you guys so yeah here is just a reminder you know as you go through another rebirth you get to share your experience um that you have went through the rebirth what happened and the gifts that came up you get to integrate and um and anchor that gifts and you get to share with them and you get to teach them how to get through what you have went through wow you guys it's such a huge responsibility but i trust that you guys are like the best person because you have been chosen by divine by god by source to actually do this work and it is not a coincidence if you feel called to this reading or called to sharing your gifts with the world because again you are here to fulfill your role and share your gifts with everyone okay Okay, so um, healing with the angels deck, start of the week. Start of the week with playfulness, you guys. So <laughs> this card has come up to me multiple times today as well. Okay, so how we want to navigate this um, heavy energies is through playfulness. Because when we are playful, it comes directly from our heart. So you guys, here's an exercise for you. Very simple. Tune into your heart and remember those moments where you feel really playful. It doesn't matter that you are young, when you were very young, or um, perhaps a few days ago. It doesn't matter. Just bring up those memories of playfulness that you love so much and it, uh, it just sparks that fire within your heart you guys and again this is for you to okay why i am saying fire in your heart is also because of the karma releasing and we want to work with saint germain of the violet flame so if you like you can totally um change the color of the fire the flame into purple so that it becomes a violet flame of transmutation sorry not purple is violet i literally say violet flame so yeah so tune into that playfulness energy and just um when okay naturally when you radiate light to your from your heart to your field you are naturally protected and that is the supreme protection you guys okay so how you can cope is bring up playfulness at the start of the week okay the midweek oh my god you guys okay celebration again because your gifts are awakening it's going to be obvious to you you are going to be in celebration mode or perhaps there is something really nice to celebrate about and it is such a, a great time to to celebrate and you guys 4th of april is coming um so there is the energy you know 4th of april energy synchronicities um powerful portal again comes up and it is just good sense <laughs> to be in the celebration mode or the high vibrational frequency so that you get to reap the effects as well because when people are in their lower or, or like negative vibrational emotions or vibrational frequency mm, they will not be able to receive as much goodness as those people who are clear and you know cleansed um yeah so <laughs> the same theory is that you know when our digestive system is not not working uh well or our gut is uh gut health is not working well our nutrients cannot be absorbed as nice and fully as a uh, healthy fully functioning and purified gut health yeah so this is the 
the metaphor. <laughs> I hope this makes sense, you guys. End of the week. Um, listening. So, let me just tune into this. Okay, so it relates to the teacher awakens card, and with listening, I feel that you know there are a lot of downloads coming through to you and. Your guides would love for you to take inspired action according to what you have received, and perhaps put it into podcasts, courses, or um webinar or anything that you know is the right step for your business, for yourself, for um the people around. Again, um, do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. You guys, this is such an amazing reading, and yeah. So the main point here is you are going through awakening. Um, use the playfulness energy as well as the violet flame of transmutation to overflow it to your bioenergy fields for protection because. It is already radiance. With radiance, you become shinies. If you watch Ghost Whisperer, I'm a f- Ghost Whisperer fan, fan, you guys. So you become a shiny, literally. You are able to guide more people towards their true heart light. As well as um, if you believe that ghosts are around you, um, they are not harming you, of course. Um, they will notice that light. And you, as that light bearer, you get to... Help them be aware that, oh, they too can have the light and they will go towards the light. Okay, so you guys, when you do this work, you're helping the earth angels on earth and those in the unseen realms as well. Okay, so when more people are connected towards that heart energy, that soul energy, that truth energy, it's gonna be wonderful and it's gonna create a paradigm shift in no time and more and more people who are you know like tuned into the forgiveness energy will be so healing you know like Yeshua Yeshua has that embodiment of faith and forgiveness that People who touch him be healed immediately or people who he touch will be healed immediately. And we we aspire and desire to be like that. <laughs> Eventually, um, when humanity catches up to that, um, that will be how we heal. And that will be the new medicine that's coming up um, in the future, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I hope that this reading has served you today. Again, apologies that my tripod stand has broken and uh, I have to use my hand to um, film this. Again, apologies, but still, I hope that you caught the essence of the reading. Um, if you would like to experience a chakra and bioenergy field healing, um, please feel free to contact me via Instagram at Grace Faye International. Okay, because I feel that in April, this healing is going to benefit a lot of us. And I know, you know, because you are already a leader, you, you may be a healer and it is challenging to ask for support, ask for help. Please um, don't think of it like that. Um, I feel strongly that... Each one of us has a gift that we can offer to one another and our gifts are essentially different and how I can help you is different from how you can help me. And so if you require support, please feel free to reach out to the person um, or healer that you know and let go of that shame and guilt um, of asking for help because I know that it may be quite challenging for light leaders and um, established spiritual healers so don't be afraid to ask for help again ask and it shall be given if not the worst case scenario is people say no to you and it is okay all right and just go and find your tribe healer your um, amazing healer that is going to say yes to you with a really confident voice 
Okay, you guys. Um, again, feel free to connect with me on Instagram at Grace Faye International, as well as like, comment, subscribe to this channel for more readings like this. And I look forward to connecting with you, whether it's on Instagram, whether it's through healing sessions, or my upcoming mentorship and healing sessions. So much pure love, peace, and joy to you. Namaste.